In this tutorial, you will learn how to transfer files using FileZilla CLI. First, buy FileZilla CLI from the FileZilla Pro website. The operating system will ask you to confirm you want to allow this program to make changes to your device. Once you confirm, the FileZilla command line wizard will guide you through the installation process. You are asked to agree to FileZilla command line's license terms and privacy policy. FileZilla command line asks you to decide if anyone can use it on your computer or if it is only for your user account. Make your choice and click Next. FileZilla command line then asks you which component you want to install. If you wish to have an icon on the desktop, select that option. Next, you have to decide where to install FileZilla command line. If you are OK with the default location, just click on the Next button. Now you can choose the Start Menu folder for FileZilla CLI. Again, if you are OK with the default name, just click on the Next button. Note that if you don't want to create a shortcut, you can select the checkbox at the bottom left. FileZilla command line is getting installed. Once FileZilla CLI is installed, you can launch it from the desktop. On the first run, FileZilla command line prompts for registration. You will be asked to provide the registration key, or if you do not have the registration key, enter the email you used when you purchased FileZilla CLI. FileZilla command line terms and conditions are shown. Enter yes to accept them and start using FileZilla CLI. You are all set. Thank you for choosing FileZilla command line. In this video, you learned how to install the command line version of FileZilla Pro. FileZilla CLI is fast and reliable, plus it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint.